Son. Welcome back to yet another one with us, the Review Bros. My name's Aaron. My name's Craig. And today we are reviewing the highly anticipated Hyped Sups YOLO Dark Side Edition. Following our review of the standard YOLO, what does this look like in comparison? Let's get into all the usuals, guys. The taste, the price, the label, the effects, and sum it up with our final verdict. Now guys, if you please could do us a massive favour, please like the video, please drop a subscription and uh, look at our memberships as well, brand new. Moving into that taste segment, the one we have for this review is Purple Punch. And we are aware it comes in a blue bomb, it also comes in a green machine and red something. We're not too sure because the website is currently only showing two flavours. So the one we went on today was the purple one. Um, I'm going to show a little quick clip right now of, the, of us drinking it, us and a friend. Um, do you know what? Tasted all right. Great flavour. Probably our least favourite of all the flavours, ironically. But, you know, to keep it fair, we just picked a random flavour and reviewed it on the Mixability, spot. average, taste. I personally gave it a seven and a half. Yeah, I was I was literally on that myself, seven and a half. So seven and a half on that taste point, guys. Not the best but by far not the worst neither, so it's doable. Price segment guys, and Aaron, what does it cost? Everything. One of the most expensive products we've come across on the channel to this very day. Go on Craig, tell them US prices. Okay, so US guys, you go to hypedsups.com where you'll see the 20 serving tub on there for $70. <gasps> Say that again. Patrick, say that again. $70, I didn't stutter, and that works out to be $3.50 per the serving. <laughs> so get your loans out of the bank, guys. You're gonna be needing it should you want this product. Now, what I will say is that is directly off of the Hype Sups website. I do know there are other, other distributors where you can get it a little bit cheaper, but bear in mind it's only 20 servings, and you know what, that always brings that price down. Now, UK guys, you'll go to Power Myself Supplements, where they have it in stock there. Now, you'll be looking to pay, in comparison, roughly £53 per tub. I can tell you that is £2.65 per serving. Madness. What we will say, though, is you do get a lot for that money, and you probably could argue that you can three-quarter scoop it and stretch that money out, but that's something you'll have to decide yourself. Absolutely. Now, guys, that comes out on our consistent pricing scale at a zero. A zero out of five. The most we got to on our pricing on our pricing scale is two pounds forty plus. So it is twenty five p more than that. So so minus one out of ten. <laughs> yeah. So um, guys, it really will dark side your pockets. <laughs> It's label time and it is 22.3 gram serving, two scoops gets you that. And first up, we've got sodium as pink Himalayan salt at 125 milligram. A little something something there, guys. It is quite a low dose, but nonetheless, it's gonna help with uh, muscle pumps and contractions. We like to see that. We'll take it. Then into citrulline malate at 10 grams. That is a hefty dose, guys. We are assuming that's two to one. Um, so that is gonna yield a good, you know, six and a half grams worth of pure citrulline, building those nitric oxide levels up in the bloodstream and thus giving you a nasty pump and that is a very good dose. Boom, interesting to see in a stim pre-workout too. Then into beta alanine at 4.5 grams. 1.3 grams over that clinical dose of 3.2, so we are gonna be Tingle Town Central. Itchy, scratchy, you know what, it'll help boost endurance as well. That's again, a very good dose. Lovely, then into betaine and hydrous at four grams. Again, guys, we normally see about two and a half grams, so we are talking some serious dosages here. That is a jack of all trade ingredients for pumps, muscle strength, power output, a bit of everything really, we love to see that. Madness, then into coconut water powder at one gram. A hydration element, and that is again, a very good dose, it's gonna help with pumps as well. Nice. Then into caffeine and hydrous at 300 milligrams. That's the sweet spot, guys. Three cups worth of coffee, roughly. The main stimulant in this pre-workout is going to give you that kick. Lovely. Then into DMHA at 200 milligrams. 
a powerful central nervous stimulant, guys. On the grey area of stimulants these days, it's going to be a, you know give you a serious energy boost. Two hundred uh, milligrams is a good dose. Focus Town. Then pairing with that, we've got a Reagerensis at another two hundred milligrams. Nice. That's the plant version. It's dubbed often the natural version DMHA, but it's going to give you some focus and some stimulation effect for the central nervous system. Another good dose there. Oh yeah. Then into Infinergy as the caffeine malate yielding seventy five milligrams of caffeine. Nice little top up of caffeine there to help with the anhydrous version. This one will start kicking in towards the end of the, the you know your training session as it starts to digest. And Infinergy is the trademark. For version good stuff anti-crash time then into neuro factor as coffee arabica fruit extract 100 milligrams so we've seen this before in berserk and ghost legend it's a rare ingredient however it's going to help with focus concentration cognition as well as some stimulation effect then into Hoopazia serretta, which is 1% Hoopazine A, 50 micrograms. Dubbed the learning chemical, it's often used for Alzheimer's patients due to its fact that it can help with brain neuron connections and focus. Nice, we normally see 100 micrograms, but 50 should still be right. Yeah, a little something. No digestion aid, so we'll see if that holds it back. time and we noticed a bit of an anomaly right up Aaron what was it the anomaly was two scoops is that serving size now two scoops weighed in at 18 grams now what we what it's supposed to be is 22.1 grams point three point three sorry so you're looking at four grams under should you do that so what we recommend is either two and a half scoop it or full two heaping scoops Man. and I mean heap 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 Almost to the point of a meme where you do a massive over yeah, the top up the one. wrist, like two of them. Now what we will say is Hype Supplements did send us these small serving size. They sent us three or four of them. We don't know if that's an issue in the big full serving size tub. So we often recommend, guys, high stim products, weigh your scoops out anyway. Now, moving into the effects of the product, I want to just throw another disclaimer out there. Muscle players and Opperman Fitness were not fans of this product. They said it was conventional style pre. Now, whether that is, there's two reasons that might be. They got bunk tubs, or they did two scoops without realizing that that goes quite considerably under a full serving. Mm. So we're gonna roll through our, our full review right now of the effects. I just wanna put it out there, guys. We're not in this to make a penny. We've not even got a code, so how can we? No, <laughs> So and uh, the other review channels, you know, they're hit and miss, so that is that is what it is, guys. Yeah. But for us, the beta alanine came in hard, fast, and itchy tingle town. At 4.5 grams, we expected nothing less. Although no digestion, and it is a big scoop, so, you know, we thought it could go either way, but, yeah, it was strong. 8 out of 10 on that strength? I'd agree with that. I wouldn't say it's the most crazy. No. I wouldn't say it necessarily felt like 4.5. I no. would say it felt like 3.2. Yeah. So um, that moves on soon after into the effects, where that tunnel yeah. vision god damn focus comes in it is undeniable like the energy hits you it i mean we'll get this right off the bat now it feels like a bit like pre-phase ko a bit like a super like supreme that. but with more aggression it's just like tunnel vision and you do get a highness with that a mm. euphoric happy feeling high oh, yeah. like quite high guys no crash no come down no no negatives at all actually no i feel hungry after training each and every time we've used it and we've made sure to use this one more often than not because of the discrepancies with the other channels yeah. but this one for us has hit hard really freaking good. really really hard as craig said pre-phase ko this is very similar even something we thought might potentially lack in this product was pumps but tell them aaron they were nasty oh. They were nasty each and every time, and that citrulline malate dose goes a long way. The coconut yeah. powder and that pink Himalayan salt, it all ties I think in. they all come in, and it works well. It's one of those ones where you often have a stimulant package or a pump package. Mm. It's rare that the two combine. combine yeah, but it like gets you it. putting in the work hard, don't it? Like, it makes you train to failure, strength is up, you know, you just feel good. And that, the it. energy lasts a good four hours, five yeah. hours. You feel that mental high. Neuro factor for me has always been a great ingredient. Yeah. I, I liked it in Berserk, I liked it in um, Ghost Legend. Mm. Just a, a, a good feeling, a good stimulation, happy feels, um, general mood elevation, hard training each and every time. 
the mental focus stays there. There's no the complaints way. really. What we would say right off the bat is obviously beginners steer clear, you know, it does hit hard. Stim junkies, I'd say it's for you, but on the more productive end of stim yeah. junkie. Yeah, what I will say is even we've tried it on one scoop and you still feel it to a respectable yeah. degree. I wouldn't obviously say it was amazing, but I reckon the beginners, you could do that one scoop and it may yeah. well be something that suits you more. Sometimes it is that tipping point where you it's just a few more grams and that literally turns it from being okay to, oh my God, this is mind blowing. Yeah, which is exactly where we think 18 grams of two scoops just doesn't make the cut. Yeah. But 22.3 grams turns it into something new. It turns it into dark side. Yeah, it brings in Darth Vader. So, um, you know, guys, we've, we've truly stressed about this review because we know other channels don't necessarily like it as much. We can't help but give it a 10 out of 10. We've even argued, you know, tried to think of reasons not to, but... It was yeah, we was like, can we just push this down to nine and a half just yeah. for the sake of it? And we realised that lately we've given more 10 out of 10s. They just seem to be coming into the same area. Yeah. But this, for us, Beats the original YOLO. Oh yeah, it's just turned up a few notches to it. More intense, more tunnel vision. Yeah, so guys, 10 out of 10. Pumps, savage. Energy, savage. Focus, savage. It's Highness. rare that, it, that this happens, yeah. Highness, savage. No negatives, savage. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all it, it ticks all the boxes. I feel like we'd be being rude to give it nine or nine and a half. Yeah. But you just got to argue that price to yourself. I know we don't often comment on that in this section, but when it's a zero out of 10, you almost have to address the elephant in the room. Yes, it is very steep in that pricing segment. But like we said earlier, Hype Subs are a brick and mortar supplement site. Mm. So therefore we recommend go to a distributor and you might find it on the cheaper end. Mm. It's still going to be pricey. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that is everything guys we can put into this. 10 out of 10, really did. Okay guys, we're moving into that final verdict where we go through the scores in historical order to this review and then sum it off with a final verdict. Is this going to be the product for you? Let's find out. Craig, starting off with the taste. Taste, we had Purple Punch, we gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Not bad, other flavours were better, but you know, this is Mixability, we had average. Seven and a half, not definitely doable. Yeah. Moving us into the price of the product, and this is a standout factor. <laughs> it got a zero out of ten, unfortunately. But what we do stress is, please do shop around. You know, look at your local retailers, distributors. Try and get it cheaper. Was it worth that money? Is an arguable a factor, but what did it get? It did claw in at a solid ten out of ten. You know, we we just genuinely cannot fault this product. So. You know, you do get what you pay for to a degree. Just make sure you get 22.3 grams, as we said in that effects section. Yeah, guys. that's key. That, that is very important. And you know what, guys? What does that give us an, an overall score? It gives us a 17.5 out of 30, which is lower than average. But do remember, the price score is the main thing, the only real thing pulling that back. So this is a stim junkie-esque product. Not necessary for beginners unless they're going to do one scoop only. Arguable. And um, guys, thank you so much for watching along. You know what, we really do appreciate it. And a big thanks to Hypes Ups for sending it over to us. Um, a great product, I've and got to check out got our, say. our original review of the YOLO. You know, we'll drop that in the description. That's also very good and cheap. Yeah, the white side one. Yeah, the light So side. Um, guys, as always, stay steamed. And you will on that, guys, if you do that serving side.